Hello everyone, Ceiling Triple Zero here. We are back with another Feed the Beast Mind Crack Let's Play. Today I have a few things to say to you guys uh, in regards to my Feed the Beast uh, series, namely this series, if you didn't guess. Um, I have taken the server down uh, for the Feed the Beast server sadly um, so this will be a single player let's play from now on and oh there's a whole bunch of wisps up in the up above me um, lots of flux going on um, yeah it's going to be a single player let's play from here on out the server though is still up and running it is currently now a vanilla server we're going to be starting up a vanilla series uh with one of the uh the guys i've been talking with lately um uh, he's also just getting started into uh let's plays uh dude's name is i i phasma if you haven't checked out his channel you should he's like I said just getting started uh, currently he's having a few issues with his microphone but he'll get that he'll get that worked out um, so look forward to seeing that from me in the near future uh, let's plays with him on the, the vanilla servers now, uh, that's all I had to say, really, but, uh, so let's get back to what we were doing. Um, I believe last episode I was working on the tree breeding. Let's, uh, go check out that. I think I had gotten just at the end of what I, what I could do with that. Also, Server has been updated to the latest version of the Mind Crack Pack, along with the extra mods that I had. Oh, and uh, there's this, these little puppies going on. These are mystical constructs from Thomcraft to allow me to move the uh, the aura nodes. Now this is it, it was very hard to do. And I had to move it a good distance. Um, I picked up several aura nodes along the way. And this is uh, a pure aura node, or I believe, or at least it should. That was my intention, is to get a pure node. I currently have another small node in my base near my Thaumcraft room. But uh, I'm going to get these closer together, and then I'm going to merge them. And this is going to be ridiculous. If you look down in the bottom there, you see I currently have 881 aura in the area, which is a crap ton. Um, I got a new type of tree from the farm. I had grown this. This one now you need 3x3 three three for. This is Bo Boab wood. It's a Boab tree. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Boab, whatever. So I have lots of that. This bee farm is currently off, as is the one down below, because I only have one type of tree, I believe. Sapling. One type of sapling left to get. And I believe it is this one, Sapiri. Um. Uh, and I've been looking into it, and you can only get that if you crossbreed two types of trees in a uh, jungle biome, which is going to kind of suck, but we make do. And it's not like I can't just make myself a jungle biome like I did with all of my other tree breeding. Never mind that. Um, so I'm going to go quickly 
make myself a mistcraft world that is entirely jungle. Because, you know, I like to make single biome worlds. Just one, they're, they tend to be more stable. And two, I just like an entire world being one single biome. So let's see here. All right, so we want to pick a biome. Um, it's going to be a, a desert, a j extreme jungle. No, what we just want straight for a jungle biome. Green hills, hell, no ice mountains. Where is ah? Jungle biome. Biome controllers, we want single, single biome, celestial bodies, we want, uh, you know, it would look cool, let's see, dark stars, a normal moon, and normal sun features we don't need a whole lot as far as features goes for this particular world um, I'm not really going to be digging let's put obelisks in there I want to try something else that's gonna be kind of interesting we'll see if it works materials See what options we have. Mm. No, no. Let's do endstone obelisks, because that'll be cool. We want it to be. Well, we're not going to worry about that. About the lighting. Well, actually, no, we do want to worry about that. We want standard lighting. Stability. Uh, the world should be pretty stable, so we're not going to have to worry too much about that. Liquids. Well, we'll leave that as is. Gradient now. No gradient. Direction. We're not going to have to worry about that either. Weather. Uh, we want... No weather. Normal weather? No. No weather. Colors. Let's see. Do we want to change the color of the moon or anything? Moon or sun? We have. Hmm. Let's make the sun blue. Let's let's put what we have in the. Oh, I completely forgot where I put my book binder. Let's see. Put what we got in here now. So, we want a, oh, I completely forgot how to even write books. That's bad. That is very, very bad. Let's use this as a bit of a reference. Okay, yeah, the biome is first. Biome type is, oh, sorry, first and then followed by the other stuff. So, oh, no, we want jungle, single biome, um, we want also, uh, da, 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 phases. Rising setting and noon. Noon. Length. Uh, zero length. Do I have another zero length in there? I don't want to use up one. In, yeah. Um, we want a blue. Zero length. Noon. Normal sun. 
want the normal moon. We want end stone obelisks. Ooh. There, dark stars. Not that it's really going to matter. We want standard lighting, no weather. And what else? What else do we want? Visual. Uh, I don't think the sky color usually messes anything up. Terrain, we are going to want flat. Just because there's, there's this length. I think that ought to be enough. Let's, um, yeah, let's, let's set some ooh. cloud color. It's going to be this cloud fog. Uh, the sky. And we want, let's just grab a couple of random colors. Do I have another green? I do have another green. And red. There. That should suffice. So. Okay, we want red fog. We want green sky. And black clouds. And we want it flat. And then just to be safe, in case I botched something up, we want clear modifiers. Right there at the end, in case we did not put in anything that we need to. And this is... Jungle. Let's call it jungle. Boom. A jungle descriptive book. And we have we have our linking book home. So let's go in and see. Ooh, that's a bit trippy. Hit <laughs> green sky. Now because I picked the noon zero length sun. I should never... There we go. Holy crap. Um, that was unexpected. Am I... Well, it is a jungle biome. That... That... This was unexpected. Um, yeah, a, a world of endstone with obsidian pillars. Is it just the surface that's endstone? Let's dig down. If I find ores, I will be amazed. See, even I learn something new every day. I think it's going to be endstone the entire way down. Oh, wait, I'm so... Damn, this world generated high up. On the plus side, I have all the freaking endstone we need. <laughs> so amusing. I don't know if I'm going to find any ores. I'm not actually digging out, though. That's totally crazy. Totally crazy indeed. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't 
don't think we're gonna find any ores. That thing is just generated and stone the entire way down. Oh yeah, jetpack. Yes. No, no, back to game. It's the mode button now. It changed everything on me. Um. Anyway, how you been, guys? I haven't uh, really had ever, ever had a chance to talk with you, or talk at you rather. But that's usually what I do when we let plays is just talk at you. So I figured, hey, let's interact a little bit. Tell me about you guys. What do you like? Obviously, if you're watching me, you must sort of like watching me do this, even though it's complete garbage. <laughs> oh well, we can uh, we can still use this world even though it's all weird like this. Cool. Um, yeah, really freaking trippy, really freaking trippy. Eh, oh well. We'll set some bees up in here, and oops, we don't want to log out. We want to go here. I'll do that next episode. We'll set some bees up in up in that piece. Get chicken. Get that last tree I need. And then I can show you all, all of the freaking trees that uh forestry adds. There's a few saplings that I do not yet know how to get. The dark wood saplings, I think I have some. Canopy tree, I have some. I have a, few, a lot of sickly oak saplings, but uh, I don't know about about those. I haven't managed to get them to grow big like they do in the twilight forest. Uh, chair. <clears throat> So I'm actually a little bit surprised. I'm not getting uh, too bad a lag right now, even though I'm on single player. Before, when I tried it, it was it was hideous. The amount of lag I got. But yeah, guys, uh, tell me what you, what you think. You know, kind of just in general. Have any questions? Yada yada. Tell me if you have any ideas on how I can improve the series. Let me see here. Hello, mittens. How are you, kitty? I think I can show you what I've been working on in my spare time just because using some of the wood that I've procured I am building this little little house nice little modern style house it's got porch lights and lights on the inside and everything isn't that awesome but uh, uh, we, the wood we're using here is um, I think it's teak Oh no, it's balsa. Yeah, balsa. The floor, or the upper floor here, is made of cherry. And the outside, I guess, support pillars, you could call them, are made of fir logs. I have a bunch of oak logs down here. Uh, these are from when I went totally nuts in the Twilight Forest uh, and just went to fucking town ha hacking down trees but why am I uh, I don't need to walk I also want to eventually get some stuff going on here with the warded jars um, I have a lot of the spiritus uh, 
saved up, and why the death, iron, metal, and flesh? Oh, I bet some zombie pigmen popped in from through the portal. That's funny. But, okay. Uh, this is the pier node that I have been slowly growing. It's at 413. Um, this is my, my Thaumcraft room. The node that I'm dragging from the outside is eventually going to be in here. I'm probably going to, after I have the, uh, the new tree farm set up in the next episode, I'm going to move that, that node here. And that's going to be a little bit annoying because that's going to require me to get two more. Well, not really two more. It's going to require me to rebuild that uh, crystal. I don't know what it's, what it's even freaking called. Crystal core? Yeah, crystal core. I'm going to have to rebuild that a number of times. Just be. <clears throat> You ever had those days where you just you can't seem to breathe? Not like asthma breathing, but just yeah. Um, I really need to get the the underground village situated. Um, I do, however, have my my uh, rocky princess and drones here, making like super amounts of extra drones which has been my problem in the past because the rocky drones and or the rocky series of these will only produce like one drone and one princess per like breeding cycle which really sucks considering i have buku amounts of princesses um i have been working on a way to maybe turn those into other types of bees using the uh, the bee breeding, or not breeding, um, you can turn them into other types of bees using bee breeding, but using the uh, inoculators and stuff. And uh, yeah, this has not really changed all that much. I still got the big tank full of liquid DNA, and this is, oh, it's not squishing bees. That's... Let's give it some bees to squish. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Squish them bees. And, ooh, this one's maxed out. Yeah, this is the maximum fertility, fertility serum that I was using to... It basically makes whatever bee you inoculate with it. Um, only... Like, it'll produce four all the time. It takes a bit to, uh, to get, get at that. Let me see if there's something here I can... Up one temp tolerance serum. I do not know exactly what that does. Flowers pollination serum. I can assume that will pollinate flowers nearby. Or it'll make flowers bloom around the uh, apiary. There's the marshy species serum, forest, wintry, and then another maximum fertility serum. Um, I think I want to turn some of those princesses into forest drones. Uh, does the synthesizer make it stronger? I think it makes it stronger. The synthesizer should make it more powerful, and then the purifier will increase, I don't know, we'll see what it does here in a minute. And after we get this, I will probably call this an episode. Oh, nope, this puts a charge in it. So we need to dump it in here first. Purifier will lower the quality, but it will, or no, 
purifier should increase the quality. Yeah. What's it doing? Average to good. Okay. So yeah, the purifier increases the quality. That's the replicator. We don't need that. Not that. Echo mixer isolator. No. 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 Okay. So adding charges to it should I okay, well something I know something lowers the quality. I think it's adding charges. Adding charges probably lowers the quality. Well, then you have to repurify it. That sounds about right. But yeah, all right. Anyway, guys, if you like this series, please like and subscribe and share it. Also, leave any comments down in the comment section about what you think I can do to make the series better. Um, anything you want me to, to do as far as uh, the mods goes. Uh, currently, like I said, I have the basic uh, Mindcrack pack with some other mods. Mainly, I have the Applied Energistics mods. Uh, I have I pulled a bunch of mods in from Direwolf, basically. I have Applied Energistics, I have Zeno's Reliquary, the Gravity Gun, um, Mistcraft, because obviously Mistcraft is not in default Mindcrack, or if it is, I am not aware. But, uh, and then I have the Universal Electricity mods, and I have not even gotten to those yet. I I should really look into them, because I, I just liked... The well, main reason why I added them was because I liked the way the, all the equipment looked. But yeah, I'll see you later, guys.